Hello students, hope everyone is doing great. Today we are going to study multiplication and division of the polynomials. Okay, we are starting from multiplying of polynomials. To multiply polynomials, we first multiply each term of the first polynomial with entire of the second polynomial and then combine the like terms. It means we have to multiply each term of the first polynomial one by one to the all of the second polynomial. For example, let p of x is equal to 2x cubed plus x minus 3 and q of x is equal to x squared minus 3x plus 2. And we are asked to calculate the multiplication of these two polynomials. Okay, first we have to write it at the same line, two polynomials. Okay, then we have to multiply 2x to the power of 3 with the, all of the second polynomial x squared minus 3x plus 2 am I right? plus x times second polynomial x squared minus 3x plus 2 minus 3 times x squared minus 3x plus 2 okay then we have to multiply this 2x to the power of 3 to the each term of the second polynomial and also the same like this also the same with this okay 2x cubed times x squared is equal to 2x to the power of 5 2x to the power of 3 minus 3x times 3x is equal to minus 6x to the power of 4 and also 2 times 2 to the 2x to the cube is equal to 4x to the power of 3. Am I right? Plus x to the power of 3 minus 3x x squared plus 2x. Okay? Minus 3x squared plus 9x minus 6. Okay. Then we should combine the like terms. Let me check. 2x to the power of 5, we do not have any other term, so we write it itself. 2x to the power of 5. Let me cross it. Okay. Minus 6x to the power of 4. Do we have another term with the same degree? No. Then we are going to write it itself. Minus 6x to the power of 4. Okay. 4x to the power of 3. Do we have another term with the same degree? Yes. x to the power of 3. Then we can add them. 4 plus 1x to the power of 3. Let me cross it. Okay, minus 3x squared. Do we have another term? Yeah, minus 3x squared. Then we can add them. That means minus 3 plus minus 3. x to the power of 2. Okay, we have 2x here and we have 9x here. Same degrees. We can add them. Plus 2 plus 9x. Okay, do we have another? Let me cross them. Okay, do we have another constant term? No. We are going to write it itself. Okay, so the answer will be 2x to the power of 5 minus 6x x to the power of 4. Okay, 4 plus 1 is equal to 5x to the power of 3. 5x to the power of 3 minus 3 plus times minus 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 3 minus 3 is equal to minus 6x to the power of 2. Plus 2 plus 9 is equal to 11x minus 6. Okay? This is the answer of the multiplication of these two polynomials. Okay, and the final operation, dividing polynomials. In this operation, we have two types of questions. First of all, dividing a polynomial by a monomial. And the second one, dividing two polynomials. So, at the first, we are going to study the first type of questions. When we divide a polynomial by a monomial of lower degree, what does it mean, lower degree? It means the degree of the denominator is less than the degree of the denominator. When we divide a polynomial by a monomial of lower degree, we divide each term of the polynomial by that monomial. Let me explain the example. You will better understand it, okay? The first example. We have a polynomial of the denominator and a monomial or a constant term at the denominator. Okay, we have to separately divide each term of the polynomial with the denominator. It means 4x to the power of 2 over 2 
minus 6x over 2 plus 5 over 2. Okay, then we have to simplify that. 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. What left? x squared minus 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. And there is another x. And 5 over 2 itself. Then it's the answer of this division. The second example, we have a polynomial and we have a monomial. So we are going to act like the previous questions. It means we are going to separately divide the, each term of the polynomial with the monomial. It means 5x to the power of 3 over x plus 3x to the power of 2 over x. And also minus 4x over x. Okay, then we have to simplify that. Okay, at the denominator we have x to the power of 3, at the denominator we have just x. Okay, 5. We know that from the properties of the exponents, if the bases are the same, we can take just one basis, we can what? subtract the powers. 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. Okay, this is the first term. Second term, 3x to the power of 2 over x. We have to simplify that. Just take one base and subtract the powers. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. And the last term, minus, we can cancel them, x with x, 4. Then it's the result of division of these questions. Okay, the second type of the dividing polynomial is dividing two polynomials. Let p of x and q of x be two polynomials, such that degree of p of x is greater than degree of d of x greater than 1. What was degree of x? Do you remember? Degree of a polynomial or a monomial was the sum of the power of the variables. Okay. If there exists q of x and r of x such that p of x is equal to d of x times q of x plus r of x, where degree of r of x is less than degree of d of x, then p of x is called the dividend in, in here. In here, p of x is called the dividend d of x is called the divisor, q of x is called the quotient, and r of x is the remainder. That much easy. Okay, we have two important notes we have to consider. If r of x is equal to zero, it means here, if the remainder is zero, then p of x is equal to d of x times q of x. P of x is equal to d of x times q of x. And the second, when we are dividing polynomials, make sure that the, term of, the terms of the dividend and the divisors are written in the descending order of degree because we are going to uh, divide the polynomials according to their degrees. It means the first term should has the uh, lead term. It means the power of the first term should be the greatest, okay? Okay, let me explain the second type of the division of the polynomials in example and you will uh, understand it better, okay? For example, divide 2x squared minus x minus x by x minus 2. It means we have to divide these two polynomials, okay? The first step, we have to write it like this. 2x squared minus x minus x divided by x minus 2. Okay, we have three steps, three or four steps. First step, first step, we have to divide the leading term of the dividend and divisors, okay? It means 2x to the power of 2 over x. The answer is 2x, okay? It means we have to write in the quotient 2x. And after that, in step two, step first, in step two, we have to multiply the quotient with the divisor. 2x times x minus 2. Okay, 2x times x is equal to 2x to the power of 2. 2x times minus 2 is equal to minus 4x. Okay, then we have to subtract it. When we subtract it, it becomes minus and this becomes plus. 
Okay, we can cancel them because we have a positive 2x square and negative 2x square. We can cancel them. Okay, at the third step, what should we do? We should, at the third step, we should subtract, we should subtract dividend, dividend from the result. The result of second step. Okay, minus x plus 4x is equal to 3x. Okay, and we should put them down, minus 6. Okay, what should we do? We should follow the step first. We have to divide the leading term of this polynomial with the leading term of the divisor. Okay, and here, 3x over x. What's the answer? 3. Okay, we should write plus 3 here, and we have to follow the second step. We have to multiply 3 with the divisor. 3 times x is equal to 3x. 3 times minus 2 is equal to minus 6. Again, we have to subtract them. When we subtract them, it becomes minus and it becomes positive. Okay, we have plus 3x and minus 3x. We can cancel them. And also we have minus 6 and plus 6. We can cancel them. The remainder will be 0. Okay? Then, when we divide it, 2x, the answer is 2x plus 3. Okay? The division of 2, 2 x squared minus x minus 6 by x minus 2, and the answer is 2x plus 3. Okay? Okay, dear students, this, this was our lesson for today. If you have any questions or suggestions, you can comment it down. Uh, thanks for watching.